Closer to home, uh, there is news about former CBS chairman and reason we all have to go through a sensitivity training. <laughs> Les Moonves. You'll recall that Moonves left CBS after allegations of sexual harassment and assault. CBS investigated the claims and determined that Les Moonves will not receive his $120 million severance. <laughs> wait, I, wait, hold on. Wait, I, I think our network has the perfect sound effect for this. <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen to all that money. $120 million. I'm pretty sure it goes yeah. to me. Do I get it? I get half of it. I get half of it. The other half oh. goes to Tom Selleck's mustache. <laughs> Investigators say Moonves should forfeit the severance in part because of his willful failure to cooperate fully with the company's investigation. How on earth did Les Moonves think he'd get away with that? Every show he greenlit for the last 20 years was about investigations. <laughs> on the bright side. On the bright side. <laughs> On the bright side, CBS has enough material for a new procedural, NCIS Human Resources. <laughs> Look. We're going to need your key card. But don't worry about Mr. Moonves. In the past 10 years, his compensation totaled more than $1 billion. $1 billion! With an alien. <laughs> What's he gonna do now? What job could a famous TV billionaire with sexual allegations possibly get? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. 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 He'd still be better. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, big news out of New York State, where yesterday Governor Andrew Cuomo announced he is moving to legalize recreational marijuana in New York within months. Yes. Yes. Legalized marijuana is coming to the Big Apple, which will now be cored out and turned into a bong. <laughs> That's right, the city that never sleeps. Is going to become the city that nods out with a meatball sub on its belly while watching Planet Earth. <laughs> and thanks to short term memory loss, it'll be easier than ever for New Yorkers to forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Cuomo says legalization will stop minorities from being unfairly targeted by the justice system and frame the speech as a reflection on what Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was once a New York governor himself, would do today. Oh, yes. This is absolutely in the spirit of FDR. We all remember his famous inaugural address. The only thing we have to fear is... Wait, you hear something? Is that the cops? Quick, flush the weed! I'm freaking, bro! We got a great show for you tonight.